Frederick VIII is perhaps the most unknown uh, kings of uh, Danish history. Uh, nearly all the people I talk to have no real inkling. He's still in the shadow of his big father, Christian IX. And this is a bit unfair, um, but it's understandable because he was basically the eternal crown prince. He was for 43 years, he was waiting uh, to become king of Denmark, a bit like Prince Charles today. I think it's basically the same. And when he finally came to the throne, he was already a kind of, I wouldn't say old, but grown up man. He had kind of lost the idealism of his views, even though he was very educated in sciences and, and literature. Um, but then it was a kind of uh, very unimportant period. And uh, the tragic aspect about his life is that only the last hour of his life, the circumstances of his death, have become very interesting for him. Was nowhere to be seen So I don't know Secret king incognito He made a horn A German horn There is perhaps the balance between fiction and history between lie and truth is the main theme of it. It's not so much going back and defining opera as a history book. It's more trying to find out who decides what is true and who decides um, how history is made. We've just seen an American president in the last years who um, didn't care about the truth. He just cared about power. So he was able to define truth and he had a majority of people following him in that. Uh, and when I started talking to people about this specific um, incident in Danish history, most of the people had no idea. I found out that uh, this episode is kind of wiped out from, uh, out of most Danish history books. Um, and at the same time, we at the theater are professional liars because we lie all the time. We manipulate, we lie, we pretend. And I felt there was a kind of interesting connection between looking into this history and into a big lie. Perhaps it's not true, we don't know. But at least I can tell that in the police archives in Hamburg, everything is there until the moment he left the hotel and until they found him dying. And everything in between is lost, which is very strange because I don't think the police in Hamburg forgot to inquire about the most important hour of this incident. And I found a little telegram from the Danish court to the uh, Hamburg police to keep all the surroundings of this death under the table. And this at least allows us to speculate. And I think speculation and surprise is two of the most interesting things in theater. We're king in